Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing some amazing projects made using Arduino. Let's get started. Number 10. If you have a 3D printer at your home, this fun little project might just interest you. Adam Beetle created a robot that could swing just like Spider-Man. It needs a little more work, but overall it's got the capabilities of being the next Spider-Bot. He used a 3D printer to create the parts of a robot and an Arduino for it to shoot out a hook and make it swing. The process is by no means fast and it takes trial and error to make this spider bot make a complete swing after sending out its hook. No need to have complete knowledge for this project, you can simply try it out like Adam Beetle did and have fun in the process. Number 9. Do you ever want to speed down the park with your own skateboard? Well, this do-it-yourself electric skateboard by Evan Kawayo is not just controlled by Arduino, but is also equipped with LED lights and a wireless remote to control the speed. The LED lights on the board are built in a way that if you put pressure on either side, it will only light up that pressured part to signal nearby motorists, cars, and other vehicles that you are on the road. The motor and pulley system is what makes this skateboard breeze through in speed, without the need to use your feet to keep moving. You can speed up as well as slow down with a wireless remote. Through this do-it-yourself project, you can get your very own $1,000 electric board for half the cost. Number 8. What a way to make something become multi-purpose with this do-it-yourself shelf that also acts as a clock once the room dims. Do-it-yourself machines give an in-depth tutorial on how to make this multi-purpose project with an Arduino, LED lights, a wooden board, and a 3D printer. The 3D printer helps in printing out the parts that will act as both a shelf and a clock, where the LED lights will be placed to light up. The Arduino is what makes this completely possible, and through programming, the LED lights will light up to give you the time. This setup gives you a place to put your plants, books, and knickknacks on the shelf. And when the lights are down, the clock can now be seen giving you the time. Do you want to level up your game of PCB design by working on high-level PCB projects? If yes, then you should definitely check out Altium Designer. Altium provides functions for users with all levels of experience and requirements. And now with Octopart inclusion, you can get real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. This can save your time as you can buy the part number directly from the Octopart website. Check the link given in the description for more details. Number 7. The Element 14 team has a limited edition Arduino Uno Mini Gold board and they used it to make a wearable electronic, a necklace. The NeoPixel strip makes the trinket give a rainbow of lights and makes it into an electronic, techie necklace. The lights can be changed into different colors and animations. The necklace will also have its own battery pack, so it can be moved around easily. There won't be any user inputs on the necklace, though so that more space can be saved. Each of these components were carefully planned in free CAD and had a case constructed around them. With the Uno Mini in front and center, it gives it a sweet look. Number 6. Another high-tech clock that can be your very own do-it-yourself project is this mechanical 7-segment display which is driven by 28 servo motors. What is so fascinating about this project is that instead of LED lights, a servo motor swings out and back in to display the time. Controlled and powered by the Arduino Uno, you know, each segment is programmed to move with servo drivers in real time. Although the segments will require some initial adjustments, but once you're done, you will have a great unique clock with a unique twist on the display. Number 5. Just a simple project in the process, UPair creates a potentiometer using a metal knob, an Arduino, and an OLED display. After the Arduino is programmed, it shows the position of the knob when twisted and displays it on an OLED. The numbers can vary from 0 to 100, including the decimal, according to the position of the knob is turned. This little project can be used for other projects you may need that require these exact measurements, 
or you can simply build this at your own expense and for a fun learning experience. Number 4. A project that comes in different names but can act as a stopwatch, a Flappy Bird game or the showcase an evil eye. Volos Projects builds this 3D circuit to make a freeform Arduino project that, with the press of a button, it can start and stop the stopwatch, make jumps in the Flappy Bird game, or cause the moving evil eye to blink. This project only requires a few items and general programming knowledge for it to work. An Arduino Pro Mini is used and can be programmed with codes, and the OLED display showcases the feature mentioned and requires only the push of a button to have fun and try it out. Number 3. No pet sitter that can watch over your pets while on vacation? Well, no worries there! With this pet feeder do-it-yourself project, Fat Pet Feeder, while away, your pet can get their own food with the press of their paw, or simply a code that gives the food at their feeding schedules per day. The food gets automatically into their bowl, and your pet can get their chow. Powered by an Arduino and built from parts from a 3D printer, this project is easily manageable and only gives enough food for your pets to eat with a portion wheel. Quite the innovative project while you're away in school or work, right? Number 2. Make your own games or use this do-it-yourself project as your own controller. This game system is powered by an Arduino and an HCC module, the MOD Boy can act like a gamepad for you to spend your time with simple games you've made. Sean Hodgins made a simple game through programming called The Bubble Burst to showcase how it works and the game gets displayed through OLED display. On the other hand, it can also be your very own controller to play games on your PC. No need to buy a controller when you can build a two-in-one project like this one. Number 1. You can make your very own metal detector plus a remote control robot in the same package with this project. Do-it-yourself builder builds parts of the metal detector robot using a 3D printer. This robot gets powered and programmed using an Arduino that, at your will, with the use of a controller, moves the robot around. Once the metal is found underneath the detector, it makes the same beeping noise a metal detector would. So if you ever lose a coin somewhere on the floor or a metallic object, this bad boy would really lend you a hand. So these were just some of the many cool projects made using Arduino. If you have more to say, make sure to leave a comment down below so we can know what you think. While you're at it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to keep supporting us and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.